Hey family, how are y'all? So I am trying not to talk too, too loud in this video because it is late and everybody is asleep. However, I did want to come to you guys today and kind of do this Dollar Tree or this full face of Dollar Tree makeup. So I saw a few people do this look. I know one person, the first person that I saw do this look was um, Juicy Jazz and I have been watching her, like binge watching her for a while. If you watch this girl, love you. And which is the other one? I don't know, but I always watch her boxy charm and her PR unboxing. I don't know her name, but if I can think about it, I will put her in either the comments or I'll put her in the description box. But I watch both of theirs and I love both of theirs. They did such a great job. So both of them are on the very fair side. I know um, Juicy Jazz is Latina and... Um, I think uh, the other young lady, she's Italian, so they're very fair. And I haven't seen anybody do them that are a deeper complexion, so I wanted to do it on myself. And um, I was a little nervous, you guys. I was a little nervous because I've never seen any, like, concealer or foundation that even remotely came close to my skin tone in the Dollar Tree um, as far as like, yeah, like foundation and concealer. So I wanted to give it a try anyway, especially with everything going on. I wanted to see what some of the options were. So let's see if we can go ahead and get into it. So what I'm gonna start off with is my brows. Well, let me clip this hair to the side as always. Okay, so I found this brow pencil by LA Colors, and I like brow pencils, so this color I got was just medium. The only color deeper than this was actually black, so look, y'all. You don't have to make this do because I definitely wasn't going to put black on my brows, you guys. This is insane. This, this right here. But we're going to just see what we can do. So I think that's going to be okay. I did check to see if they had some um, pencil sharpeners and they actually do. I have my own, I actually have a few and I always grab dollar pencil sharpeners all the time. So I didn't pick any up, but I do have some. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to pick up is, this is actually just as liquid makeup, but I'm going to be using this as my concealer. It's um, closer to my skin tone, but it's a little lighter. I kind of feel like this may be a little bit lighter. Um, I have this as my foundation. It looks dark, but I kind of have a feeling it might come out a little bit lighter. 
If it's a little too dark, I can lighten up with this, but I'm just gonna kind of open this up. And then I'm gonna uh, deep, uh, carve out my eyebrows with this. So I'm just gonna go on the back of my hand. Yeah, so you guys see how white that is? I had a feeling it might be significantly lighter than it looks in the packaging. So good thing is, is I found some Wet and Wild brushes, and I'm gonna go on with this color right, this uh, brush right here, and it's, oh, yeah, a large concealer brush. Okay, so since this is so light, I'm actually gonna try to go in with this and try to mix it a little bit. I didn't realize it was gonna be that different, that much of a difference. So we're gonna be able to see what this uh, foundation is gonna look like a little bit. So I'm gonna see if I can mix it a little bit. So that's what this is gonna look like. So that what that's what that color kind of looks like. And I'm just gonna spread that around a little bit and then dab in there. Kind of give it a little bit of swirl. And then see what that looks like and see if I can go at the top of my brow. Oof, child lord. I ain't trying to do too much, and I might not even be able to. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, okay, well, it looks like it's kind of, let me see. Um, we might be able to work with it because it looks like it's kind of moving a lot, if that makes sense. So let's carve out with it. Oof. 
Okay, so that looks crazy. So I have this um, classy chic can see oh contour brush, and I'm just gonna see if I can take it. I've never even used what is it the artistry brushes? I think that's what it is. If it's not, I don't know because I've never even used a brush like this. But I saw this, and I'm actually gonna try to blend this out. They didn't have a large selection. So I'm just gonna try to like blend this out with this brush. Maybe not my best lots of good judgment, but just gonna try to blend it out with that. All right. Hmm. Oh Lord. <sighs> okay, so right now this is just looking really ashy. The fact that my brows just look off a little bit, it's just me. Has nothing to do with Dollar Tree. That's all me. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is go back into this right here, and I'm just gonna put one more small pump back on my on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna create a base. This is gonna be my primer. Of course, there was like no type of eyeshadow primer on uh, at Dollar Tree, so. Uh, nothing like that. So I'm just gonna use this primer as, I mean, this, uh, what I'm gonna use, this liquid makeup, I'm gonna use this liquid makeup as my eyeshadow base here. And I'm gonna use this on both eyes. I'm not sure how well it's gonna like blend out or if it's gonna hold anything, but we're gonna try. That little pump just did that other eyelid and I'm gonna go and do it on the other eye, just to kinda cover it up. Uh, any discoloration. Yeah. Also. Let me not do ugly faces doing this. I'm working on that. This is actually a Sashi Chic brush. Um, I mean, um, sponge. This was actually small and it did, it did increase in size. So I have high hopes. So let's see. Normally I just, oh, well, this is definitely taking up all that product. So we're not going to use that. Normally, I do use my sponge on my lid to kind of blend out my eyeshadow base, but I think I'm just going to try to use my finger today. And honestly, if you can see, this stuff is moving. It's just moving. So, hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, I feel like I don't even. Hold on. 
do I want to try to use this and like put something over it or do I want to use it because I feel if I don't it's not going to have nothing to stick to alright I'm going to use it it's going to do it like I do my the rest of my stuff alright Okay, so now I'm actually going to go in with this next. It's going to be a crease brush from Wet n Wild. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go in with this contour brush from Wet n Wild. I'm going to go in with this. And because this uh, liquid makeup is moving so much, I don't want to go straight in. I was going to go in with this eyeshadow, but I kind of want to set it a little bit because even what my finger is moving so i'm gonna go in with this powder right here and i'm just gonna try to set it so it holds just a little bit and kind of stop i'm hoping it'll stop moving a little bit so that shoot it'll hold on to something so i'm just gonna try to go in and see if i can get it to set just even a little bit right like maybe it'll set a little bit because this is just a pressed powder. So hopefully this will set it a little bit. And then I can go in with my eyeshadow. Which it seems like that's exactly what it's going to do. So I have high hopes. It just seems like it was just too loose. So... I think that's what it's gonna do. Lord willing. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my eyeshadows. This is what I got. I got these and then I'm gonna go in with the Okay, so it had the applicator fail, but these are what those shadows look like. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna take, I kinda wanna see if I can build from this shade right here just to kinda see what they're starting to look like. And I, oh yeah, so that really worked setting with that powder. And it really, like now when I touch it, it's not moving at all. So I'm hoping that I can try to take this pink on the outer corner, then go in with the brown and kind of do something like, yeah, I think I'm going to go in with this and then maybe that, maybe that. This might be too dark, but I'm just going to go in with that color and see what it does. If it does anything. Lord willing, it will. And it's picking up some, so let's see. Okay. Come through LA Colors.
What I do realize that I didn't necessarily realize in the stores, these are all shimmers. So they kind of look matte, but this color is very much so a shimmer, which we're going to make it work either way. So it's all good, but it is picking up. So that's cool. If anything, it's just going to give it like the outline that it needs. So I'm going to go in on this side. What I will say is that it's kind of breaking up over here. But let's see if we can get that to kind of cover up. If we can cover that up with some shadows. May have to go just a little more heavy handed over here, and I ain't no problem with that. Y'all, I remember when I was in college, like right after I graduated, I had my son, and I was working, I was going to school. I used to get up so early, y'all, so early to go to my first class, and I would literally do like a quick makeup. I wasn't even doing brows then. I was doing everything so super, super affordable. Super affordable, y'all. I think I would have like a couple of just cute, um, what was it? Like beauty supply eyeshadow palettes and they was not popping like the NYX palettes back in the day, y'all. They was not. But I just did what I could, and it was cute for what it was. I was cute. And you just got to do make do it what you have. And that's the real thing. I think it's easy these days to, you know, see what's on social media or see what other people have and, you know, get to living beyond your means. But, you know, don't do that. You just got to do what's best for you. All right, so I'm done kind of laying that base right there for these colors and, or that, that color. And I'm going to go in with this other color, which is that brown. I'm going to kind of go in with that. I'm kind of thinking, do I want to go in with that other color? I don't think I do, because I don't think it's going to do much. But let's go in with the brown. Just going to go in lightly, because I don't know how dark it's going to get. And then I remember um, I had a friend at the time, and she's the one who actually introduced me into thrifting. I used to just go to um, like really affordable retail stores, you know, the usual. But she was like, girl, you know, you can get some really great things, thrifting, like things for your room. And I didn't know nothing about that. My mom used to just teach us about going to like Ross, Burlington, you know, places where you get affordable new things but we really never went thrifting or anything it was just i guess because she kind of felt like if you can get it new why take the time to you know get it used you know what i'm saying which i understand that but um I, sometimes i feel like it's worth it for furniture you know because i've been getting into diy projects lately so you know if you got a goodwill where you are and you feel like you would like to kind of check it out, take your time and go in there. We found some good things. I remember I found some brand new Uggs with the tag still on them at my local Goodwill. I found brand new shoes. Sometimes I think that people just go buy brand new stuff or either they just have stuff in it, um, with the tag on it. And they take it in there because now, like, you know, when I started to get more um, kind of situated with myself and my kids, I have things in my closet that I've given to Goodwill from my from my kids closet. 
in um, my closet. And, you know, if I've never worn it or I feel like, dang, you know, this still has a tag on it, I'll go ahead and give it away. So sometimes they don't just give it or they don't uh, just go to the store. But I've gotten like cute little flat shoes that I have still had the tag on or cute little Nikes for the boys, jerseys and at the really good ones. And not only Goodwills, but other thrift stores too. So check them out. And I don't think that's only for people who are, um, I don't th think thrifting is only for people who are in a bind either. I don't think I'll ever stop uh, thrifting, uh, to be honest with you. I found some really great things thrifting, y'all. I remember when me and T, we um, got our first apartment together. We were still building at um, that time. Like I, I had a, my, I had an apartment by myself before we moved in together, but then when we decided to move together, we um, we had um, got we have when we decided to move together, I had let all of my stuff go because I had moved back home, and then when I had let everything go and moved back home, we were kind of like, all right, well we're gonna move together. And then it was time to get some new furniture. And one day we had moved, we had walked into Goodwill and we saw this super nice sectional. And we were like, what? How much was it? It was like $114, a sectional y'all. Super nice, nothing wrong with it. I wanna say we hadn't even been in our um, apartment probably like two months. And we were like, you want to get it? And I remember I had a Jeep at the time. And he was like, let's get it. And I was like, all right, cool. And we got it. And we lived on the third floor this time, y'all. <laughs> and we got that joker upstairs. And it was all that and then some. Because we had to buy that new. It probably would have taken us some time. Because we didn't pay a lot in rent. But we were still building. And we had a baby. Come on now. Took us some time. All right, so that was that color. And I'm gonna go in with this deeper brown because that other color didn't deepen up as much as I thought it would. So I'm just gonna go in with that on the outer corner. Ouch. It's not the brush, it's me. I'm being rough and I'm holding it really up close too, so. I mean, it's not the brush, it's me. All right, so I'm just gonna deepen it up a little bit more. No, don't tell me I grabbed another one of those. I really meant to grab a different one. I meant to grab another one of these, but this will work. Oh, I grabbed two. That's all right. Let me see. Is this... Let me see what this one looks like.
All right, y'all. So these are how my eyelids are looking. And I'm really satisfied with it. And that's just with this palette. So I had to build it up a little bit. Not like a whole lot, but pretty much with any palette. I don't really know how it's going to be be at first. So I try to kind of be cautious about it. Um, I'm going to go in a little bit more with this uh, lighter color on my brows. And kind of brighten that up just a little bit. I mean, I guess I could do that. Not too, too over the top. That'll be cool. Guess if I do this right here, I won't have to do no uh actual brow brow highlight for sure. Oof, I brought that in a little too much. Yeah. So that one's this one. I won't go into that. So the next product we're gonna go in is this one here. I actually got this to be my highlight, but I'm actually going to do a little bit of lid color with this. This is a beauty pot, three pot pops of color, and it's an eyeshadow. But I didn't see like, oh, yeah, I didn't get a um, a highlight because I didn't. Oh, I did see highlighter. I think I kind of just forgot about it, but we can use this one. Oops, I guess I'm grabbing it. Let me get this out. Okay, so not, I can't get super precise with the brushes that I have, but I mean, I think it's going to be okay. I mean, it's kind of a lot going on right now. So it's just like a lot of glitter. There's a lot of shimmer and a lot of glitter. Uh, I feel like, um... Yeah, there's a lot going on right now. But we're going to make it work. We're going to make it do what it do, baby. Oh, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. That's a lot of glitter. I feel like I need to kind of tone this down in here. Like, like maybe that wasn't the best thing to do. It was that. But let's go ahead and go into the face. Um, so where's the primer? Okay, so I actually got this smoothing face primer. It has a lot of claims. Minimizing pores, all this other stuff. But it's from the Dollar Tree, so we're going to just say it's a primer. And we're going to hope it does a fraction of what it says it does. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to get that stuff off the back portion. And let me go ahead and take some of that on my hand. And that. There we go. Oh, I hope I'm not using too much. What's the directions? 
Oh, it says a thin layer. This is way too much. It's not thin. Now, let me get that back because there's a thin layer on each side, okay? This it looks like, it smells like lip gloss on my face. I do have some hyperpigmentation, so I'm really hoping that this, um, yeah, really hoping this foundation does some good stuff, you know? This foundation. I'm just happy I found it in a semi, a color that's uh, my color, you know? Or close to my color. Let me put it over here because these are where the dark spots are. So I'm tapping in. This is just too much. So here. All right. So I am going to. Put some of this on the back of my hand and this actually looks like it's gonna be a pretty good color for me I'm gonna start putting this on my face not that I think this brush is gonna do anything but I feel like I need another clip okay okay baby I really want to go ahead and get it on those dark spots really, really, really well. And I got some over here. Just like start disputing, disputing, distri distributing the product evenly, I guess, all over my face. And I feel like that, um, um brought this sponge you know i actually picked up this brush but i don't think it's going to be dense enough this classy cheek the sleek and classy brush because i normally put my foundation on with one of these i just don't think it's going to be dense enough so i'd normally like stipple come on oh come on lord <laughs> let's see what you're gonna do for me Come on, uh, sponge. Are you taking it all off for me? Yes, you are. Um, this actually says that I should do this with my fingertips. And as messy as this sounds, it's probably going to be the best thing that I should do. So, these are free. Yep, this says, where, where, um, the, yeah, these, in, this instruction says, apply and blend with fingertips. So, that's what I'm going to do.
All right, you guys. So I do feel like my makeup's a little different, but I mean, for the most part, I feel like it's cool. Full face of Dollar Tree. Okay. And we in there. How y'all feel about this? Full face of Dollar Tree? Yes? No? Maybe? All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for liking this full face of Dollar Tree makeup look. And I am out. Love you so much. Bye.